Hello there everybody, and welcome to Prim ASMR. Today I'm going to be showing you the stack of games. The last video like this, I showed you guys my collection, my own personal games, and some of the favorite games I like to play. This time, I'm going to show you guys my dad's collection. And some of these are my dad's, and some of them are my brother's. Um, we each have our favorite, like our own favorite games and our own collection, so I did get some questions on the last video, um, if those were all my games, you know, and they were. That was my collection. So I thought today I would show you guys some different games. And this is all of them right here. I just thought I would show you a really quick look. We're going to take a look at each one of them individually. So, I'll set that behind me, and I will go ahead and start with this first one. Um, now these are, like, different, different, uh, game consoles because we have, like, a bunch of different systems. Over the years, we've probably had every single system there was. Um, my favorite probably is I like the PS2 and the PS4. Uh, yeah, that, those are probably my favorites. So, this first one is for the PS4, the PlayStation 4, and this is Resident Evil 5. And my dad, he loves Resident Evil. That's probably like his favorite genre, or like favorite game series is the Resident Evil games. Um, I remember watching my dad play Resident Evil when I was just a baby, just like really little, and um, I would actually call it the Sherry game because he had to save the little girl named Sherry. Um, so yeah, that's what, that's what I used to call it when I was little. He's really, really good at all kinds of zombie games. Um, some of my brothers are too. So yeah. Let's see. The back, this is what the back looks like, and it says, you don't have to face fear alone. Join forces with friends as you control Chris Redfield or Sheva Alamar and fight fear together. Now, I have not played this game. I haven't played this one. I have played other uh, older Resident Evil I think my dad has beat this over five times, so, um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty neat. It says one to two players on the back, um, two to four network players, online play optional, um, yeah, so, that's pretty cool. Now, also on the back, it says, includes all DLC, two extra episodes, Lost in Nightmares, and Desperate Escape. For additional costumes to fight in style, all 18 characters join the battle in The Mercenaries United and Hordes of Enemies in Versus and No Mercy Mode. So, that's that one. And that's what the spine looks like there. Okay, now these next several that I'm going to show you are for the Wii. Um, Let's see, this one probably is one of my brothers, I'm thinking. So this is Lego Star Wars. Lego Star Wars. The complete saga. So, it's very, very cute. You can see the front of that, and this is what the spine looks like. And then the back says, kick some brick in one through five, one through six. I can't really read Roman numerals. Roman numerals, oh my gosh. Um, let's see. Play through a fun Star Wars galaxy that combines the endless customization of Lego with the epic story from all six episodes of Star Wars. Okay, so that was one through six. Um, so the back is really neat. It kind of shows what the game scenery looks like and stuff. I'll hold it closer because there's a few other pictures right here that you can see. 
So I think I played this just a couple times, like when they first got it. Um, all of these games are kept downstairs, um, which is where my dad and brothers usually play games at um, when they're playing together and stuff. So let's see. This next one also belongs to one of my brothers. This is ABC Wipeout, the game. Now, I didn't even know they had this. Um, until I was looking through their games. I really want to play this though. Um, there's the front. And the back says, do you want to run the wipeout course? Ready, get set, splat, bounce, and smash. Complete again, or compete against friends and family in over 50 insane obstacles from the hit ABC TV series. Featuring the voices of John Anderson, John Henson, and Jill Wagner. So, that's what the and those are the three, the three voice, the hosts, the three voices. So, let's see. The year on this was 2010. And that's what the spine looks like. In case you're ever looking for it anywhere. Let's see. It even comes with a little booklet, a little pamphlet. That's what the disc looks like. So. Okay. Let's see. This next one is Monster 4x4 uh, World Circuit. Um, rough Rides, Tough Tracks, Mean Machines. And then there's a few pictures on the back of what that one looks like. And I've never played this one either, but I assume that it's some type of like a racing game. There's cars. I always, I've loved racing games, so it's probably like my favorite type of game. Uh, so, my dad's favorite type would be like zombie games. I like racing games. Uh, um, and I think my other brothers like battling games. Like, I know one of my brothers loves um, Star Wars battles. One really is into Fortnite. And then the other one is he really likes Mario games and stuff like that. So but yeah, I like racing games. <laughs> I don't know why. It started with Mario Kart though. My obsession with racing games. Okay, so um, this next one is called Pitfall, the Big Adventure. And this is also for the Wii. And that's what it looks like. It's so cute. It's a little, this little boy swinging off a vine, and there's little friendly alligators right there. So that's what the spine looks like. Okay, and then the back looks like that. Kind of reminds me of George at the Jungle. It says, Roll the jungle, battle scorpions piranhas, natives, and tons of other fierce enemies in the Peruvian jungle. Use your W- uh, <laughs> I almost said WWE remote. Use your Wii remote as an ice pick, raft paddle, slingshot, torch, or even a stick of TNT. Swing on vines, punch enemies, escape quicksand, swim raging rivers, and much, much more. 60 levels of jungle madness for the entire family. So, there's some up close pictures of that. Pretty sweet. Um, okay, let's see what our next one is. This one is The Price is Right. Ooh, that, that would be pretty fun, I think. I want to play some of I've never really looked through their game collection recently. They've got a lot more um, from like thrift shops and yard sales and stuff this summer. Um, so I need to, I need to definitely get some time and play some of these with them or just on my free time maybe. But um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the show to this game, but I think that would be really, really fun. Here's the, the back shows some better pictures little slot machines. You can win all kinds of 
money. It says, come on down. Now you can play American, um, America's favorite game show at home. So, that's cool. And no, yeah. So I don't know if I showed you the spine of that or not. I might have. Okay. So we still have quite a few. But this is this is the last Wii. This is the last Wii game. Okay. So this one's Game Party Three, nineteen hit game. And when the Wii first came out, and we first got one, and um, we were all playing it, like, every day, we would play stuff like this, because um, it, was all, it was all we knew how to play at first, you know? And I think it was the game that we got with it. This is the only game that we had got, like, very first thing. It was, it was Wii Sports, I think. We played, like, tennis, and um, bowling, and... There's like boxing on there too. Um, and it looks like this is the same thing. I see, oh, and there was, there's pool and billiards. So let's see, this is what the back looks like. So I see a pool, I see smack a troll, I see um, hoot shoot, hook shoot. And root beer tapper and then it says play 19 of your favorite games new games include billiards bumper pool miniature golf smack a troll um, let's see croquet racquetball and a remake of the arcade classic root beer tapper with almost 20 games and countless games variation there's something for everyone all the game featured four player action plus tournament modes for larger parties and you get to create your own characters that's one thing that i liked about the wii uh you got to create the me i think it was called the me i don't know but i always had fun like with that uh, creating characters that's one thing that i really like about um wwe games at least the old ones where you could create any wrestler you can still do that on the new ones but when i was younger my dad create different wrestlers on that game and you know like he would spend so long on all the details and because you could move the cheekbones up and the nose down or up and um thought you, could, you could just do all this different stuff um so yeah that that's one of their games okay now this next one is for the xbox 360 and this one's Call of Duty Black Ops 2. And I've played this a few times. I've played Black Ops 4 a lot more, especially Blackout. And I think I've told you guys that. Um, me and my brother played it so much last summer. Like, it's not even funny. We played it so much. Um, I started playing it because I was trying to help him unlock a character. And he needed so many different points for it or something. And I usually would never like to play this type of game. I just, I never felt like I was that good at it. Um, but I had to play it with him so that he could unlock something. And I ended up, like, really liking it after I played it a few times. So, um, but I did play this a few times when it first came out. And, yeah, it's pretty nice. It says Nuketown 2025. Bonus map included. And let's see. There's three different sections right here little boxes and this first one says zombies which I'm not gonna lie the zombies on that game are so scary <laughs> like no I mean no, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm scared of zombie games pretty much okay multiplayer that's fun and then campaign it's down here at the bottom so pretty cool let's see what the year was on this 2000. No. It says 1999 to 2012 for the software, but I don't know. That's that's strange. Super strange. But yeah. There's that. Okay. Alright. 
So these next three that I'm going to show you are all for the PlayStation 2, which I love the PlayStation 2. Um, I used to play it so much, especially in like 6th, 5th, 6th, and 7th grade. I would play it with my friends and my brothers. Um, I'd play Sing Star, and I would play Sims and Grand Theft Auto, I think. Yeah. So, these three are all for the PS2, the PlayStation 2. This one is Max Payne, New York Fugitive Undercover Cop, Nothing to Lose. And that's what that one looks like. I've never actually played this game, but it looks really cool. Um, this is what the back looks like. Um, there's four little pictures. I'll hold it closer in case you So, it says Max Payne is a man with nothing to lose in the violent, cold, urban night. A fugitive undercover cop, framed for murder, and now hunted by cops and the mob. Max is a man with his back against the wall, fighting a battle he cannot hope to win. Prepare for a new breed of deep action game. Prepare for pain. Dot, dot, dot. Um, and then under each box, there's just a little sentence, and the first one says... Lead Max through plot twists, twisted bad guys, and stunning revelations. Um, the second one says, painstacking attention to detail. Uh, even the bullets are modeled accurately. Let's see, the third one says, self-adjusting difficulty keeps you in the sweet spot of gameplay bliss. And then the last one says, bullet time, let's player use slow motion gameplay to bring down enemies. Cool. So there's that one. And then let's see these next two here are both Grand Theft Auto games. Um, you have Grand Theft Auto 3 and then Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Those are both really good games. Um, if you've never played them and you like you like games, you like video games, um, definitely try to check those out sometime if you have the PlayStation 2. Um, they, I think they are on different game systems though, but I'm not too sure which ones or anything. I just remember playing them on PlayStation 2. So this one looks like this, all these different squares of the different characters and scenes from the game. And then the back, and by the way, this is Grand Theft Auto 3. Um, on the back, it shows some scenes from the game. So, that's really neat. Um, I play Grand Theft Auto 5, GTA 5, sometimes when I have time, which isn't often, but when I do, I play that a little bit. My character looks just like me, pretty much, and uh, I love getting cars on that game. Like, anytime I have extra money on that game, I get cool cars and clothes, but mainly cars. Like, oh, they're so cool. You can get a DeLorean on there. You can get the Starsky and Hutch car. Pretty cool. Um, but anyway. This says, Liberty City, USA, the worst place in America. You've been betrayed and left for dead. Now you're taking revenge. Unless the city gets you first. Mob bosses need a favor. Crooked cops need help. And street gangs want you dead. You'll have to rob, steal, and kill just to stay out of the serious trouble. Anything can happen out there. Grand Theft Auto 3 expands the very idea of what a game has traditionally been. A malioso masterpiece. In case you're ever in a pawn shop and want to pick it up or something, if you've never played it or you want to play it again. Uh, I like the Grand Theft Auto games. I've, I always like to drive around in them. Like, I don't really do the missions or anything. I just like to, like, walk around and look at the town and stuff. I don't know. This one 
this one's Vice City. So there's different pictures on this one. Um, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. And this is what the spine of that one looks like there. And the back says, Welcome to the 1980s. Ooh, that's why I like this one so much. Welcome to the Vice City. Welcome to Vice City, a huge urban sprawl stretching from the beach to the swamps and the glitz of the ghetto, a town burning with delight and degradation. Um, Grand Theft Auto by a city. Having just made it back onto the streets of Liberty City after a long stretch inside, Tommy Versetti is sent to Vice City by his old boss, Sonny Ferrelli. Um, but all does not go smoothly upon his arrival in the glamorous head on henna hedonastic metropolis of Vice City. Tommy is set up and loses everything. Sonny wants his money back, but the biker gangs, Cuban gangsters, and corrupt politicians stand in his way. Most of the Vice City seems to want Tommy dead. His only answer is to fight back and take over the city himself. And then in quotations it says, Our jaws hit the floor and stayed there. The beginning of a new era. Rockstar Games presents a Rockstar North game. And then there's the pictures again. Cool. Okay, let's see, what do we have? Okay, we have one GameCube game, and then we have three PlayStation 4 games. Okay, so this one's the GameCube game. And this is DreamWorks and Ardman. Ardman. Flushed away. Flushed away. And let's see what the back says. It says, Someone's going down. Join Roddy and Rita as they fight to save the underworld. A metropolis from the Toad's evil plan to amphibian domination. So, some pictures. Little character up there. This character down here. I think this is based off a movie, um, but I haven't ever seen this movie. Not that I know of. That's why I'm not really too familiar. Does look really familiar. Um, it reminds me of the claymation cartoon uh, Gromit. What is it? Oh, I watched it like not too long ago. Harold and Gromit? No. Oh, Howard Gromit. Gromit, Wallace and Gromit. If something. But yeah, their face looks like that show, especially that one. So, pretty cool. Uh, I'll have to play that sometime because it looks pretty fun. But yeah, that's probably one they got recently because I've never seen that before downstairs. Okay, so we have three more left to look at. Um, I think I'll show you this one that's on top first. This one's Star Wars Battlefront Deluxe Edition. There's a little price tag on there. $12.99. I, maybe they got this at a pawn shop or something. Um, but this is for the PlayStation 4. And this is one of my brother's favorite games. Um, maybe not this one, but like I think part two or something. And if not, he definitely played it a lot. Um, and I've played it with him too. Multiple times. was not too good at it at first, to be honest, uh, and I'm still not that great at it, but it's pretty fun, especially playing as Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. If you're a fan of Star Wars and you like video games and you haven't played this, you should definitely give it a try sometime. see this next one. These two kind of go together. They are both for the PlayStation 4. And this one is Uncharted. 
Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection, and this one is Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. So, they kind of go together. Um, this is what they look like on the spine. And now I will show you. is the Uncharted and let's see it says Uncharted Drake's Fortune and then it says Uncharted 2 Among Thieves Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception um, so maybe oh this one comes with 1, 2, and 3 okay I didn't get that when I first read it on the front so this is part 1, 2, and 3 and then you have part 4 here I've never played these games either. Like I said, this whole collection is mainly like my dad's and my brother's like share collection. Each of my brothers, though, they each have their own like personal collection of games because they're all into different stuff. Like um, one of my brothers, he really likes the, Nin the Nintendo Switch, so he has like a stack of Switch games. So if you guys would like to see the Switch games on a different video, let me know and I'd be happy to show you those. And then my other brother, he has some different games, and so does my other brother. But this is kind of like the family share game pile. Um, so, yeah. That is all of those. Alright, so that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this time with me watching and going through these games. I hope you all have a nice night of rest and take care of yourself.